Hey guys, so welcome back to AI the Somnium Falls Run Initiative. Let's carry on where we left off. We're disembarking this field's train to carry on our investigation now that we've got the third and final message left behind by terror. Speaking of left behind, it's Mizuki, Chapter 2, the 12th of February. Back in Abyss. Hopefully, Genny? this message can be translated now. Where is Genny? Abnormal activity was detected in his brain after the sink. Oh. It's not anything serious, but Pewter decided to take him to the medical office as a precaution. I like how they always take away the subject of my sinks before I can even know what happened to them. <laughs> but uh, good on Pewter to escort him to... Dead's brain is atypical. ...get checked on. The nano cables may not have been connected properly. Probably because he had that mask on the entire time. Is he okay? Like I said, nothing serious. Was this like... I sock it in the wrong place because his face is deformed or something. It's not life-threatening and there shouldn't be any side effects. That's good to hear at least. Poor guy, man, honestly. Having uh, reviewed his life story, how he was bullied and he was basically fated to have an abnormal life before he was even born because I think <clears throat> Chikara Horidori was experimenting on the egg that he came from. Uh, and, well... We've got the sweetheart, Amame, who obviously sees beyond his appearance and knows that he has a big heart. And the fact that, you know, uh, he kind of falls in love with her, I suppose, because uh, she's basically the only one who was nice to him. And that must have been such a unique feeling for him that he basically clung on to her as soon as she showed him a modicum of kindness. Okay, if you say so. And, well, you know, he obviously deserves the love. He's He seems like a good guy from what we know, right? Yeah. But I wanted to ask any tons of things. Now, obviously, this was a long time ago where uh, Tokiko must have been aware because Gan was in her Somnium six years ago. About Chikara and why he lied. I am curious about that, too. But we should hold off until later. Yeah, I kind of don't want to ask him that stuff in an interrogation room kind of setting. Let's maybe wait until he's comfortable back at Brahmin. Yeah, before we do anything, let's solve Terror's annoying little puzzle. Ugh, Terror and his bloody puzzles. Real right. Riddler, this guy. We got our third clue in the Somnium. find it amusing, though, that uh, Gin took the remnants of the balloon with him and brought it back to Brahmin and dumped it in the rubbish bin there. The pieces of paper in the balloons. One said one, and on the other side, host. Well, I don't know if it says host, because there is a space in between. It could be Ho Street, for all we know. Probably in the red light district, perhaps? Is that what we're looking for? The one at Ion said two, and Unra. A street full of hoes and uh, RAs, resident admins at the United Nations. And? The one at Ikume Shrine said three and Indig, right? Indig. Yeah. Indig host. What are these signifying? Hmm. Well. Good question. If we line up the letters. Indigo underwear hostess? Yeah, I think so. That's way too many letters. Well, we obviously have to fill in the blanks there, Iba. Where are you getting this from? From my big brain. Oh, I know. Oh. I know you don't know, so don't say anything. <laughs> Jeez, Iva. Okay, why don't you uh, enlighten us with the answer then? You were probably about to say something even worse. <laughs> Could you two please take this seriously? I'm trying. I'd love to, you know, review the log at least to recall what letters we are we have. I should probably get a pen and paper, but I got none around me. The letters on the pieces of paper. What do they signify? Oh, well, it's time to solve it. Thankfully, we've got the log here at last. Let's see if we can come up with something. All right, I've looked at these letters long enough, and this is the best I can come up with. Undrain Ghost. I've done all I could to try and interpret this message. I did a crisscross pattern, alternating between letters, between pairs of letters, uh, and then just doing a simple anagram of the 12 letters. But for all I know, there are two words, three words. Uh, nothing seems to fit. I tried to fit in Horidori, I tried to fit in uh, Nirvana, or any character's names like Shoma. 
not happening. So I'm going with Undrain Ghost. Hmm. I really don't get it. Sorry, I, I tried, but at least I used only the letters this time. Don't give up. Think harder. Oh, it's that easy, is it? Just think harder. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll think harder. Jeez, Iba. I'm not an AI, okay? I'm a human being. I only have so much patience. I'll try and solve it again. Okay, this is me thinking harder, Iba. We've got Ho Rain Stunj, which uh, could be interpreted as Hora, Horadori, Inst, Institute, uh, Un, which is, I don't know, and then uh, D, and then we got the G at the end for genetics. Is that it? Hora, inst, undig. Wait, what? That's actually it? I was memeing. Horadori Institute underground. Oh, underground. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Not und. <laughs> Gee, I can't believe that worked. Yes, it is. The, it was a crisscross pattern after all. I thought it was nonsensical, but it's correct. Precisely. Precisely. You knew all along, Iber. Under Horadori Institute of Genetics. <laughs> okay, so I was semi onto it. I knew I, I knew it had to do with those X's, with the arrows, because that's how you were supposed to solve the all free puzzle. Sink is only a means to gather information for an investigation. Nothing learned in Somnium can be used as evidence. So Ibe and I headed to the Horadori Institute of Genetics. No warrant? We're not letting you in without a warrant. Are you the same security guard I bonked on the head earlier? And as expected, we got chewed away. But then I gave the security guard a hard right hook and crushed his jaw, and then... Nah, I didn't. I thought about what Boss told me. If you if cause you me cause one me more headache, headache, I'm cutting, cutting your pay. pay. Oh. Aren't I on minimum wage already? You technically, legally can't do that, can you? I put my metal pipe away. Looks like we've got to do things the hard, peaceful way. I looked around the building for any way to get in. And about halfway around the building... A back door. Well, what do you know? And there's no security guard at the back door? <laughs> but it was locked, and it looked like there was an alarm on the door. There we go. I knew there'd be some security measure. That's when Moss Woman, Leon. Who? Date! Oh god! Jesus Christ, this is creepy. Well, well, well. I never thought the police would be calling on my skills. What are you doing here? Thank you for your help. Jeez. Nah, don't thank me. I'm just doing this for old time's sake. Okay, so Leon was skulking around. For better or worse. I was wondering, though, where is this underground room? Oh, right. Terror's challenge. Yeah. It pointed you to underneath Horadori Institute, right? Yeah. But I've never seen anything there. Huh. Okay, what about this hidden room? I mean, I heard people talking about it. I heard this one lab guy there say, Hey, this lab that we're in? This is a huge space. There might be some hidden passageway or something. <laughs> Convenient. But it's not like they knew for sure or anything. A hidden passageway. You're gonna look for it, right? I'll help. I mean, that's why I'm here, not to drink from the test tubes. I already bought this ticket. Might as well take the ride. Come along, it's gonna be a bumpy one. Especially if we get into a fight. Crap, a lookout. Hide! Wait, what? I was just looking around. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. They're gone. What are they doing? Can't we just follow him? Maybe he's guarding the secret entrance. Something is on the desk. What's on the desk? There's a lot of things on the desk. It's a flask. It's Leon. He's looking for a hidden passage. How about Chikara? Hey, remember what we were talking about at the Kumakura office? You said there were a bunch of rumors about Chikara. Yeah, some shady human experiments are being done here. I feel like uh, our guard friend just walked past and I saw a flashlight. Something about DNA manipulation and gene therapy? I don't know exactly. Well, it's the Institute of Genetics. Gene therapy is probably not far out of the wheelhouse. I hear they modified the DNA of embryos and gave birth to a bunch of genetic experiments. Yeah. All for the goal of eternal life. Instead, finding out uh, other kinds of superpowers, I suppose. Chikaro was in charge of everything. He had a close circle of trusted associates that ran the experiments. I don't know exactly how it happened, 
But eventually, word of these experiments started to spread to the outside world. But of course, a leak. Conspiracy theorists. And that's what caused the facilities to close. And that's when Chikara ran and went missing. But they never proved anything in court. The building had already been demolished. All the evidence? Toast. So a year later, Chikara could just rebuild the whole thing. Once the heat died down, of course. He named it Horidori Institute of Genetics and started all over again. Are human experiments still happening here? No, I don't think so. But they're doing something creepy. Creepy? What do you know? There's some virus called the TC Purge. That's right, that's familiar. I'm not a doctor. I don't really know how it works, but... Was it uh, Shoma who explained this to us? If it gets inside you, it messes with your brain. It makes you hallucinate and think crazy things. Ooh. How did it get into... Good old Ryuki's brain. And it spreads in the air. If this virus gets out somehow, the human race is in for a rough trip. Wow. Okay. Can you picture it? The whole world going crazy. People everywhere doing it. unpredictable things. Crazy things. Over and over. Why do scientists have to play with such volatile, deadly experiments? About that tattoo. What, this? I got it in Bali. <laughs> it says, Danger Zone. Cool, huh? I can read. Thank you, Leon. <laughs> Did you find anything? This isn't going to be easy to find. Huh. Reminds me of my glory days, huh? Oh, you couldn't find anything in your glory days? That's kind of hopeless, isn't it? It really takes me back. Less talking, more looking. Even though I'm the one asking the questions around here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what time is it right now? It is 23.45. Ooh, it's late. I told Lee in the time. Okay, we've got 15 minutes to find it then. Wait, what happens at midnight? Why? At midnight, the new shift of guards comes in. Isn't that a good thing? That's their patrol schedule. Hmm, okay. Oh, come on! Again? <laughs> Who's there? Oh, shit. I was... I was not ready oh, for that. shit! I mean, I should have been ready for that. I just accidentally tilted the left stick just at the wrong time. Oh. <coughs> what is this? <coughs> nerve gas. Wait, nerve gas? It's gonna kill us? Wow. Well, Leon seemed really calm when he said that. This is... There it is, a diary. Jeez, I was examining everything on this damn disc. A journal or research log. One of the researchers must have left it. Rookie. But it's locked, right? Indeed. In that case... Well, we'll get the Master of Unlocking to take a look at it. I picked up the locked journal. I handed Lee in the journal. What's this? A journal. 365 days. You know, like the movie that's really hoary and yucky, and you probably shouldn't watch it because it's terrible on Netflix. I found it earlier, but it's locked. Okay. Let me see. What a man. Huh. Easy. Got it open. Doing it in the dark. Although he does have a flashlight. Lean handed it back to me and I opened it up. Like I thought, it was a journal kept by one of the researchers. Unfortunately, they're a doctor, so their handwriting's all scribbles. The first part was mostly complaining about the bosses. Then there was a section about which of the girls working there were the hottest. <laughs> How can they tell? They're in big, chuffy suits. Momoka one, by the way. Oh, good on Momoka. Although she probably won't be too happy to win that contest. None of that interested me, so I flipped through the pages. Halfway through, I found a disturbing entry. I've heard tons, tons of rumors, rumors regarding, regarding Chikara Horidori ever since I started here. here. He locks the place up every night by himself. And then he gets up to something. Huh. Why did you conveniently leave your diary on the disc, by the way, Mr. Scientist? This seems like something you'd write before bed. Could he be tampering with the experimental data? Could he be licking Momoka's keyboard and chair? <laughs> Ew! That would be like we were indirectly kissing! Wait, what? Screw that pervert! That's when I got the idea to leave my phone behind one night and record everything. Was that the disturbing entry or is that yet to come? <laughs> the next morning, I checked the video, but Chikara wasn't on it. Oh? Actually, the only thing I recorded was some strange sound that kept repeating. 
The melody went something like this. Fa mi mi re ti la mi so. What? Hang on. Why do you have this diary six years later? It says 365 days on it. It's... You know, why would you keep a diary for six years? Chikara has been dead for six years. What could that be? Fa mi mi re ti la mi so? Right. Uh, Those must be the notes of the recorded sound. Care to translate that, Iba? Hmm. Hmm. This alone does not help us. We need to find a piano, and when we play the correct notes, a hidden door will open for us. Look for a conspicuous piano. Anything? Hey. Can you come over here? Okay. I will. What's going on? Oh. That melody you heard must have been the sound of the keypad. Why am I whispering? It looked like the ankle on this statue moved. So I tried turning it around, and I found these buttons. Excellent. Is this a keypad for a pin code? But there are only seven buttons. Yeah, I was about to say, it only goes up to seven. I tried pressing all seven buttons in order, and then... I see. Each button plays a different note. Yes. But it was all over the place. I don't think that was in order. In any case, the sequence we must enter is obvious. It is, but I bet you won't tell me what it is. Go ahead, Mizuki. <laughs> Thanks, Isla. She's an AI, she's trying to make me sound sm uh, feel smart. Eight notes in the journal. <laughs> okay. I gotta ch I gotta translate this with this intense music in the background. I really am performing a heist. I'm so glad it tells me the name of the note. Above. <laughs> for, for a pleb with a tone deaf ear like me. Reti Lami So. 47712673. Is it working? There we go. Underground. Good job, Leon. Excellent observation there it is. skills. Leon, look! The hidden passage! Guys, we found the hidden passage! Shh! Not so loud. They'll hear us. Sorry. Guess it's more like a staircase than a passageway. Ah, uh, same difference. I mean, technically it's a passageway. This below ground area is covered in tungsten. Can't x ray it. That is why the x ray did not reveal anything. Gotcha. Right, let's get moving. We got another cathedral down here. What are we gonna find? I'm nervous. Ugh. Feeling claustrophobic? This is the world's slowest descent. <laughs> here we go. It's locked. Oh, you didn't even turn the doorknob, Mizuki. Maybe that's why. Yes, this is where I come in. Yep. Good man. Yeah, it's open. Amazing, Lian. Oh God, Mizuki! I said, don't be so loud. <laughs> Lian, are you ready for this? Even her swallow is loud. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's go in. I'm nervous. What's down here? A Date clone? This is... Tell me! Show me! I need to know! Oh god, what a cliffhanger! The Expensive Spirit. Mizuki, Chapter 3. It's the 13th. It's now 12.05. Guards have changed shifts. Okay. What is this? <laughs> we, can't, we don't even recognize it. I don't see anything at first glance, but something is up. Yeah. We should search this place. I mean, you're not wrong. What are we going to find? There's not a lot going on here except for the floor. 
Oh god. Huh? I thought Tokiko was gonna show up behind me again and make me fall off my chair. What is it? I thought I heard something. Leon, did you hear anything? No, nothing. Really? I think you're just hearing things. Don't tell me I'm hallucinating now. Besides you two, I detect no biological life here. That's not good. Maybe it's a robot. I do not detect anything on the stairs either. Okay, guess it's fine then. Um. Sorry for spooking you. Oh, yeah. Are you apologizing to Leon or me? Because I do not accept this apology. I know something's wrong. Let's search the room. Yes. Let us do the usual routine. Oh, we gotta do VR? Oh, interesting. All oh, right. Leon isn't here anymore. <laughs> I deleted him. He's irrelevant. Remember what I have explained previously. In this space, objects and individuals that are irrelevant are excluded from the recreation. But he's not irrelevant. He helped me. But even though I can't see him now, he's still in the room, in reality. As long as I don't bump into him as I bumble around. Correct. He is searching the area. Let us leave Leon alone for now. Yeah, we've got the advantage, unfortunately. Focus on the investigation at hand. Got it. Alright, I see something already directly in front of us. Oh, we got a few things, actually. Got a power switch, got the door. It's the door we came from. Right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know, <laughs> obviously. It's couldn't a power switch. Couldn't investigate it more. It was on when we came in. Is it a light switch? It looks a little big to be a light switch. Yep. Perhaps it powers the entire room. But what is it powering? Could be. Mizuki, there is a power line that leads to it from above. Follow the x-ray. Power switch. Using x-ray, you can see the power cables running to the ceiling. Okay, we can follow the x-ray if we so choose. We've got blood. That's not good. I see some blood stains. It appears that much time has passed. Years, at least. Really? And footprints in the blood. Damn. Looks rather fresh. It's so dark, it's hard to see. It's a tooth. It's an iron plate. There might be something on the other side. Gotcha. The exhaust ducts stretch from wall to wall. This is the direction we came from. So there must be something past this wall too. Some kind of space that would need air to be exhausted. Mm -hmm. A room. For what? Dunno. This seems like an interconnecting chamber. It's interesting the uh, distinct patterns on the floor have disappeared. Night vision. Is this a tooth? For the tooth. It is the first molar of the upper jaw. It does not appear as though it was pulled out with any instruments. Okay, so it just fell out? There are no marks on the tooth's enamel. Or it's a false tooth. Then how? Perhaps the owner of this tooth was punched in the face. Huh. <laughs> Whose tooth is it? So there was a fight in here. Unknown. Let us call this person T for now. T for tooth, of course. Oh, of course. Person T. Someone's. T's. Tooth on the floor. Appears to be the first molar of the ma maxilla. Sealing power cables. A power switch and an electrical line leading away from it. The line splits in two. Let's follow both. The power line in the ceiling leads to the other side of this wall. And if you follow it further? Leads to the door. There is something in this wall. Or suspicious area. Is it a switch? Yeah, by pressing this part here, it turns on. A hidden switch. What happens if I press it? It looks as though it powers a different area. Okay. There's a hidden switch in the wall. Uh, anything else? There's a mysterious metal plate. There's a door on the other side of the plate. And perhaps a hidden secret beyond it. The door is past the plate. There are other mysterious plates. There are. There's a square hole here. Of course, how did I miss this? It is a foot switch. I mean, I saw it, but I forgot to examine it. Similar to those used at hospitals to open emergency doors. A bloody footprint. You can use your foot to trip the switch, leaving your hands free. I see. But it does not appear to be powered currently. If I want to use this switch, I've got to feed it some power first. And one more thing. There are footprints around the switch as well. 
the same prints from the bloodstains. These prints are also old, likely many years. So, obviously no one's been here since Chikara's died. A bloody footprint is nearby. It's a vent. I wonder if the air is being ventilated properly. It's stale in here. <laughs> we are underground. The airflow is likely quite poor. Yeah. No, that's not it. I don't know how to explain it. You feel affected somehow? And that might be feeding our hallucinations? Our auditory delusions? But there's bad air down here. Like the sound of footsteps behind us? There's an iron plate above the door. What's that doing here? I suppose uh, if we open the other middle plate, this one will come down. Perhaps some sort of shutter. If that plate came down, the door would not be able to be opened. Hmm. There's a steel plate above the door. All right. All clues discovered. Hmm. We have collected all the ingredients. <laughs> ingredients for what? For a movie. You don't know? Judging by the clues, something occurred in this space many years ago. Yeah, but who was he fighting with? Someone, let's call them X, came to this room and did something. Was it Richie, Chieda? If we can follow what X did, we can discover new information. Huh. Anyway, just answer my questions. Sure thing. You've been riding my ass all night. Okay, sure. Let us begin. What do you think X did first when they came to this room? When X came to this room, turned the power on. When we came here, the power was already on. But it's probably not always like that. An astute assumption. We need to restore power to the entire room first. Makes sense to me. We will not be able to proceed without it. We wouldn't be able to see. It'll be too dark. And next Assuming is, it also powers the lights. What did X do after turning on the power? What did X do next? X turned the power off. No, that's not right. Uh, threw their tooth on the floor. Use the foot switch. Flipped the hidden switch. I am positive. There are no bloody footprints under the switch. So that had to happen first. Therefore, someone, most likely T, was not yet bleeding when the switch was pressed. Maybe this is a dumb question, but how do you know the switch was pressed? It has to be. Because of how the foot switch is wired. It needs to be powered up, and that's the only conceivable thing around that would do that. There are two power lines within the tube. Electricity comes from here and then goes back up the ceiling and ultimately terminates in the foot switch. We can leave the foot switch be for now. Yep. Let us move on to the next step. Then there was a rude After interruption. After pressing the hidden switch, what do you think X did next? Licked the blood, punched T went through the hole. Yes, I agree. When T got their tooth knocked out, they started bleeding. But what happened to T? That's what caused the puddle of blood. Right. Then X stepped in the puddle, causing the prints. That's a lot of blood to be spilled from one punch. Even if it did knock a tooth loose. The finishing touches. It goes without saying what X did last. Swallow the tooth. No, they use the foot switch. I'm after the achievement, I'm sorry. That's why I'm not doing any of the wrong answers. Correct. There are bloody footprints near the switch. Though I'm assuming Iva just gets really pissed off at us. It is clear that X came here after T started bleeding. Power is sent here by turning the hidden switch on. Therefore, if you were to trip the switch with your foot... The panel will lift. And now we know what X did. Time to reenact. Who do I get to punch? Do I get to punch Leon? Prepare the reenactment. He can be included in this, right? Uh, this again? Are you ready? Um. Okay, here we go. I suppose uh, these sequences replace the interrogation sequences in the first game where you bliss the clues while you're talking with the suspects because we haven't really been interrogating a lot of people, have we? I didn't say yes. The camera is rolling. You don't have my consent. Ready? 
All right, time to lick the blood. My name is Mr. X. I came here for a certain reason. Yes, yes! Okay, I was pleased with it. Keep that energy up. What did X do first? I stroll to the power switch and I flip it open. First, I need to turn on the power. I can't see. It's too dark. Ta-da! And then... Do this to the hidden button. <laughs> I, I pressed it. And so, the foot switch should have power now. Stop, Mizuki. You forgot something. Oh yeah, who do I beat up? Oh, right. I need to punch T. Though, I still don't know exactly why. And where did T come from? Did he accompany me into the room? Anyway, hi -ya! Oh god, we're probably gonna knock his whole jaw off. <laughs> there we are. Yes, and then X must have stepped in the puddle of blood. And lastly... Foot pedal. Something should happen now. I don't know what, but... Something. Something. Let us leave the VR world behind and do this in the real world. There can only be one thing, guys. Yeah. Even though I still don't get why you had to record that. Yeah, what's that all about? I think I get the picture. Case closed. Horidori Institute's holding cell. After following my steps from VR, I put my foot on the switch. Okay, we don't have to hold it down. And then... Ta-da! Okay. I don't know why Iba didn't include these in the simulation. Uh... Tokiko, is this your... It... can't be. Other half? What is this? <laughs> oh, God. So, is this the hint Terra wanted us to see? I don't want to see what's on the other side. Uh, Mizuki, what did you do? Like the side where she's been bisected. Like, are organs still there? Are they not? I know Chikara's weren't. I guess what you did doesn't really matter. Well, I didn't kill her, okay? I just was trying to solve this room's puzzle. It's the corpse. Terror obviously wanted us to find it. That's why he led us here. It's Tokiko Shigure, from Nice Japan. Now the question is, what's her time of death? Her left half. What is she doing here? But how should I know? Weren't you the one who made her show up? That doesn't mean I know what she's doing here, God! I mean... I guess. I'm just as surprised as you are. Blood seeds. Looks like some old and some new. New? Correct. These stains also must have come from multiple sources. What, Terra cut his finger or something? It is safe to say that one source is Tokiko. I cannot yet tell who the other sources were. That will require a thorough inspection. Yeah, we'll need to summon, uh, Kazuki to come investigate. This does solve one big mystery. How the bodies are getting cut? Is this the machine that does it? What? All of the victims of the HB case were cut at the molecular level. Those cuts were likely performed by this machine. Uh, but how does it work? So this is some kind of slicer? Exactly. Do you see that wire on top of the machine? Oh god. Oh god. That is CNT. A braided carbon nanotube. The diameter is about 0 0.4 nanometers. Seen that before. A single nanometer is one billionth of one meter, so it is not visible to the naked eye. But I can see it. And they were just lying down still and straight like that? That is because I am modifying your vision. I am emphasizing it on purpose for your benefit. Thank you. So you're saying... That carbon nanotube was used to bisect all the victims? God. 
What the hell? That is highly probable. So... How far away is this place from Studio Divida? Because... We were there. Kameji was there. We got knocked unconscious. Kameji died. Uh, Amame came in. She found us, and then Terror walked in with the gurney. So all the murders took place here, most likely. Okay, so we've got Tokiko's body, but where's Komeji's? Including Tokiko. But why are there two machines? In case uh, you needed to do a double kill, I suppose. Well, unknown. It's a carbon nanotube slicer. This might have been used for all of the HB case murders. Why are there two of the same machine? They do not serve different functions. Oh, one doesn't put them together again? They both look to be exactly the same. Hmm. Maybe if one fails, he has a backup? Nobody here. The door we came from is covered up. Hey, what are we gonna do? How are we getting out? Well, we don't know what's beyond this door. Maybe there's another exit. Can't you open it, Liam? Of course I can't! There's no lock to pick on this! It's okay, don't worry, I'll just press the switch again. It'll work, right? What? Are oh. we gonna die here? My fat fingers again. No, 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 no! I haven't married my Kizzy yet! I know, don't, don't worry, we'll, we'll get out of here. Don't panic. Does he think getting out of here will improve his odds? <laughs> Look, he does care about her, okay? And she cares about him. It's just that she has doubts about herself and her... Uh, and his feelings for her, unfortunately. That's the door that was being covered by the iron plate. You're not gonna open that, are you? Why not? Yeah, but we gotta look around more first. Leon, he looks a little freaked out, if we couldn't measure. I'm freaking out after all this. I'm on the brink here. The omelette rice I ate yesterday is already up in my throat. I don't blame you, man. It's it's half a body. Her estimated time of death is 1900 yesterday. What? Yesterday, meaning the 12th. It is currently 1 a.m. on the 13th. What? So, roughly six hours ago. So what? So Tara was like, oh, she's not going to solve it. Not for, uh, not for a while. I have time. I'll kill her later. Hmm. But why? Why is the time of death not matching? Mizuki, look at her wrist. Slit wrists. I do not believe this was self-inflicted. The cut is deep. I suppose, uh... Hmm. Did the other bodies have this? And the reason why we couldn't determine a cause of death because they all looked immaculate, I suppose, is because the, the killing blow was on the other side of the body. But there are scars as well. Perhaps she did try to take her own life in the past. She seemed to have a troubled one. Hmm. I mean, we know the cause of death was the Mizuki, bisection. What are we gonna do with the body? Uh, good question. We are going to turn it over to the police. We're not gonna display it or anything. I can't just leave her, but I need to see what's on the other side of that door first. I feel like we need to take a photo of this. In case I'm hallucinating. You're really gonna go? We've got nowhere else to go, Leon. Yeah, why? What if the murderer is in there? Then I'll arrest him. Terror? All the more reason to go. Wow. You're really courageous. You're younger than me, but... I respect you. Hey, courage has nothing to do with age, my friend. Leon, you should wait here. You could say I'm just overconfident. And my abilities. Although I have good reason to be. I am pretty strong. What? If that iron plate drops down, I might get trapped again. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Just be safe, Wait, okay? You're just gonna leave the two of us here? Well, one and a half, really. The one and a half of you, yeah. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> High five, Izuki. <laughs> anyway, gotta get going. If I get trapped, help me out, okay? Yeah. I got it. And if you start panicking, just think of puns to make regarding the body and how it's only half remaining. Okay, symbols on what? Lockers? Servers? Punching bag? 
weights. Is this Terror's headquarters? That looks like Mizuki's bench press. What is this place? Yeah. Is this the true abyss of nine X's? Because there's a non X. A bed, refrigerator, shower, toilet. Is someone living here? More like confined here. A prison. Look at the door you came in from. My God, my neck doesn't turn that far. Oh, there we are. There is no handle. It cannot be opened from this side. Oh, that's wonderful. Good thing Leon is on the other side. Phew. If we were all trapped in here together, within a week, Leon would have become a rabid animal. And then... He would have tried to eat you first, probably. Ha! If that happened, I would have beaten him to death. Although, we are super strong, aren't we? Surely we could bash the door down? Unless it's built to resist that. Anyway, we should search the room. Okay, well, I'm disoriented. It's a punching bag. It's been used quite a lot. It's a shower and a bathtub. It looks really old. It's a toilet. A steel drum. There's nothing inside. A bed. Training equipment. That's the only vent. It is safe to assume the average human could not enter or exit through there. Okay. Not that uh, I think an average human was staying in here. It's desk. There are thick books on it that look difficult to read. A PC. I tried messing with it, but nothing happened. Tons of papers stuck to the wall. The text on them looks practically random. It'll take a while to decode this mess. I'm wondering if that computer is going to turn on and play uh, the Nirvana trial video. Let's go down. Password. Thermite. Let's look at the lockers. It's a locker. A mysterious pattern is drawn on it. The shelf is filled with what looks like drugs and other stuff. Oh no. You've seen this before? Of course. How could I forget? Oh right, of course Ibo was uh, deactivated after the explosion. This is what caused my left eye. And Kizzy. Yep. It is a thermite bomb. Six years ago, a thermite reaction caused Jin Furloway's right half to burn. I know. I read the report. Basically, a miniature version of this was set in the body, right? God, what is this place? Correct. It's a tire. An old TV. A stainless steel sink. It's really dirty. You could say it's a stained sink then. It's a worn out refrigerator. It's all preserved food inside. There's still food in there? The production dates are recent. Someone must have been here not long ago. Huh. Yeah, but why is this stuff in here? It shouldn't need to be cooled. This refrigerator is broken. The cooling function is not operable. <laughs> it's a makeshift pantry. So this was just being used as a storage box. That seems to be the case. Oh, this is dodgy. I've got like no theories whatsoever as to who's been here. This is nice. The Nonyable X symbol. A shitty looking computer. <laughs> Iva, can you take a look? On it. Go for it. Internal data has been analyzed. Oh, you got in? Mizuki, take a look at this. Is this? The Nirvana trial video. It is the Nirvana trial video. There are backups and working files on this computer as well. It seems as though that video was produced here. Yep, this is Terror's base of operations, but why is the door locked? And one more thing. There was some unedited QR footage as well. Or is he making someone else work for him to make the video? And this is their prison. But that means... Yes. I mean... There's something on the desk. What is this? If I turn the page, this is what was written there. I've been here for ages. I'm trapped here, suffering. It's all their fault. They took so much from me. They used my creation without permission. Wait, what? And I'll never forgive them for it. Just writing about it makes me furious. I want to kill them. There aren't daily entries, Ugh. but it seems like the person who lived here wrote it. I think it's my controller, technically. It's skipping all it's these dialogue diary. options. There might be some clues to the case. Using your creation? What, is Shoma living in here? Let's keep reading. After that, the QR video and the Nirvana trial video were both created on this computer. Unlike them, Mom is really nice. She's taught me a lot of things. Nice is wonderful. 
This world is a lie. These things happening to me are a lie. Could this be Tokiko's child, then? Mom said that she's going to tell the truth to everyone. I want to help Mom. I love Mom. But... Why are you nice to him, Mom? I hate him. He needs to pay. Continues. There is a date here. This is from six years ago. February 9th. He came this morning. I thought he was here to mock me. He always picks on me. But he said that's not why he was here. He said he wanted to apologize. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I've heard him say it a million times. Things turned red all of a sudden. Next thing I knew, he was on the ground. I think I hit him. He was bleeding from the mouth and unconscious. So, this person here is person X. I thought this was my chance. I knew how to get the machine out. He basically taught me everything. I took the machine out, set the body in, to be split in half alive. This description, it is similar to what we reenacted earlier in the room next door. Yep. So the person writing this diary was X, and he is probably T. He got his tooth knocked out. So Chikara is T? Uh, neither February continued. As I looked at his dead body, I thought to myself, If I use this, I can help Mom. I've been planning this for a long time, but when I saw that body, the light came on. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the seam can occur. By creating that, the people of this world, Moksha. February 10th. Early morning, I went to go see Mom. I told her about my plan. She agreed. She even said I could use her money. This has got to work. Oh, Mom, you're so kind. The Nirvana Initiative. I'm going to make it a reality. I decided to proceed with the plan. I thought of a new name for myself. My name is... Terror. I will start my new life with this new name. Okay, well, this is his origin story. 10th of February continued. He's a product of Chikara. And Tokiko... How ironic. The one thing I needed was being created in this very facility. TC Purge. Such a wonderful virus. But I was told it was still imperfect. More time was needed. No need to be rash. I decided to wait with Mom. Fortunately, there are tons of Nyes, Nyes members among the researchers. Oh. So there are also Nyes then. When I told them about my plan, they happily obliged. I can't wait. This is going to be so much fun. February 11th. Someone interfered. I put it there, but it was gone. This is, uh, Komeji. I believe, right? He took something from terror. Insufferable and great. No mercy, 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 no mercy. I'll find you and kill you. February 12th. I found you, filthy thief. So he, what, he like, killed Kameji, split him in half, and wandered back to his cell here to write, I found you, you filthy thief. <laughs> February 13th. I cut the thief in half and then set it up. Your fault. Didn't give it back. Right, so it was unplanned. He killed Kameji uh, for revenge. The undoing is done. I can finally relax. February 13th. The thief cut in half. So that was Komeji, but where does Jin Furue come into this? It basically starts off when he kills Chikara. So... Did Chikara kill Jin Furue? Is it because he was an experiment? The thief must be... 13th of February continued. I met the person of my destiny. What? Person of my destiny. Are we talking about Date here, or are we talking about Ryuki? I have to know. The diary ends on 2.13. What? What a blue ball diary! It's all from six years ago. And it hasn't been updated since? So the diary ends there. Oh great, I feel like I'm gonna get ambushed. Anyway. We now understand. So Terror offered all of this to us. Why? To blow us up? 
The person that was being held here is the culprit of the HB case. Terror. Something tells me he was only held here until he committed the Chikara murder, and from there it was all voluntary. If we wait here, will they come back? No, he led us here. I do not believe they will. Once they reach the stairs, they will know someone intruded. And we'll try to get rid of said intruders. But why kill Tokiko, his mother? If they did, a certain someone would be gotten rid of first. Yeah. Leon, we need to get back there now. We need to double check on him. <laughs>